go. Hi guys, it's Casey here. <laughs> My mom is um, videoing, so she's gonna help me out. I know a lot of you have been asking about my at-home workouts, and right now I'm currently not at home. Wouldn't this be nice? This was our fitness center in our house. <laughs> but um, we're at one of my mom's place where she works. So I want to show you um, a cool ab exercise you can do using a hula hoop, which maybe if you're a mom out there, your kids have these, and you never thought you could use them to work out, well, you can, so no excuses. So these are called hula abs. My mom's gonna actually talk while I do them, because she's closer to the little microphone. Hopefully she's not covering it with her fingers. I'm not. But um, she's gonna talk and talk about the importance of just keeping your back flat on the mat, really engaging your abs, um, you know, supporting your neck. I'll show you how I do that. And I believe that's all I wanted to show you guys. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get on a nice padded surface, and you're gonna put your feet in the hula hoop, um, you know, just shoulder width apart. Obviously, my shoes are untied. Um, and you're gonna lay back. And mom, you wanna? Okay, so with one arm, you're gonna let the legs lower, all right? Support your neck and your head. So you're gonna look straight up to the ceiling. That's it. And then pulling the hula hoop in towards you with a nice straight arm, raise up and raise your head. That's it. And then release. Good. So one of the keys is to keep your arms straight. You don't want to bend your arm and pull the legs. You really want the abdominals to be doing the work. Also, you have to be conscious right there of keeping the back real flat into the mat and especially when you're lowering back down to the mat. You want to make sure that your back's nice and flat, belly button's pulled in towards the spine. Okay, so you can either look up to the ceiling as you're contracting the abs. That's it. You want a little bit less wear and tear on the neck, so you don't want to pull on the head. Maybe try to keep the elbow a little flatter. That's it. There you go. But trying to support. You want to make sure that that neck is supported. Okay. They're killer, just so you know. <laughs>